Hey guys, Adriano Persichetti from Mindrip Real Estate. Welcome to my property tour of this sensational two bed, two bath, one car unit here in the heart of Kensington, literally two minutes up the road from Kensington Station, 201 at 80 Ormond Street. Let's go check this unit out. I know you'll love it. Come on, let's go on a tour. So this is, it's a very boutique complex. Uh, as I said, right here in the heart of Kensington. Um, it literally is a two or three minute walk to Kensington Station. So these are the, this is the main entry into the complex. Um, as you can see, beautiful 80 Ormond Street. Um, it is security access, so you will get security fob access into here. Um, bang, the doors open. So we'll come inside. And it is on level two, so we're going to see you upstairs in a minute where I'll show you through to your unit. Well, here we are, guys. We're on level two at our beautiful unit, number 201. Let's go in and have a look. So as you can see, as you come straight through, you get these beautiful laminate timber floorings right throughout the hallway and into the dining zone and kitchen zone, which I'll show you in a little bit. We're going to duck in here first thing. So it does have two bathrooms. This is the main bathroom or the master bathroom. Again, it is an apartment, so everything is quite compact. However, for dimension wise and size, it's actually quite good. So you've got a double shower just around here. Um, and I'm actually going to get George to come in because you've actually got the laundry facilities right behind the door, as you can see there with all the plumbing. So your taps through there, and I've got your outlet hose just down the bottom there. It's a good size double shower. Um, it's got everything you possibly need in a bathroom. Through to the master. So the master is actually the first bedroom, which is through here. Um, and as you can see, it is a very spacious bedroom. Now, the, obviously, the building's a little bit older, so you get a bit more space than the new um, day and age. But this is a massive queen-size bed. Two big side uh, bedside tables, which is really, really cool. The other beautiful thing is there are blocker blinds in all the rooms. And we've, I'm going to get George to pan down because we've replaced the carpet. So the vendors spent a little bit of money, replaced the carpets, which is great. I love these carpets, nice plus gray. We've also added new LED downlights throughout. The light in here is phenomenal, which is really, really cool. There is an ensuite bathroom through here, which I will get George to pan around. And again, set up very much the same as the master double shower, vanity and toilet as well. And the other beauty is lots of row space. So as you can see, just minus my uh, stuff there, but as you can see, we've got double stack of doors in here with plenty of row space and hanging space, as you can see there, which is really, really great. Um, we'll head on through up this way where we will find the second bedroom right through here. Again, really spacious bedroom. Uh, it's a bit smaller than the master. This is a double bed. Two massive bedside tables as well. Um, again, just to show space, you could fit a queen size bed in here. Obviously, we've jazzed it up with a little sitting zone. Uh, there is obviously some storage behind there. Um, we've got some cupboard space as well. Through here, you've got the old study nook. Um, this bench does obviously say, so it is a fixture. Again, if you didn't want to study, um, you could really add some more cupboard space or pantry space in this zone as well. It is floor to ceiling um, that you could do that. But again, for those of you that want to study this or now obviously uh, post COVID working from home, it's a great versatile space as well with power and whatnot. Coming through here guys, and obviously this is what it's all about. It is your kitchen meals and lounge area, which is very, very compact and, and spacious at the same time. I know that doesn't make sense, but you'll see what I mean when you actually come and check out the unit. Um, starting off in the kitchen, uh, the one thing I quickly want to show you, sorry, quickly, George, there is actually, oh, look at this. Boom. So, for those of you that don't want the table, this is actually like an island bench or a little bench where you can sit and prepare stuff with. Um, so again, utilization of space. So this is here, which I think is really, really cool. Lots of um, little cupboard space through here. Plenty of obviously drawers inside, which is really, really cool. Um, as well as above. Um, it is stone bench top. I'm gonna to swap around this way, I think. Uh, so 20 mil stone bench top. I actually really like this color, to be honest. Um, glass splashback, which is really, really cool. There is two burner gas cooking, 
Now, I tested this before I came, so as you can see there. Nice gas there. And Fisher & Pike 11, 600 mil. Again, it's a compact kitchen, um, but it's, again, you're talking about inner city apartment living. There's a nice little space here, again, for a dining zone. We've set it up as a four-seater. Um, I think a four-seater is probably good enough space with, to give you some space around. But again, if you didn't want that, you could easily use that minus the dining table. Um, again, really, uh, for what space that this unit has, it's actually a really good versatile lounge space. And again, you're in an apartment, so you're not gonna have a massive three or four seater couch. This is a two seater. You could easily fit a three seater if you didn't wanna have, obviously, the side table here. But again, for what this is and for the location it is, I think it's fantastic. You've got some views of outside. Um, and then again, the other beauty about this unit is that you've actually got, ooh, oh, actually that one doesn't slide, I should have known that. Silly me. But you've actually got a fully enclosed, or fully covered entertaining zone. So you've got some street views from here, which is really, really cool. And again, you're really, really close to everything here. Obviously this is all about location. But as you can see, like this is some really big furniture here. Uh, it is a really versatile space. And again, it just elongates your entertaining zone uh, from inside to make it outside. And again, you're covered from all the elements, which is really, really good. It actually goes past um, the actual balcony space as well. The one thing I want to show you, so you might have just heard that in the background, probably not. I can hear it. So literally, um, you're on almost off Ormond Street. So Kensington Station literally is about a two or three minute walk up either of the streets to, to the left or to the right. Um, you've got the shops close, you've got CityLink close, access to CityLink. Everything is really, really close in this location. So again, guys, this is going to suit someone that wants that inner city, low maintenance lifestyle. They want to be able to live in a really good unit. Again, two bed, two bath is a really, really awesome floor plan. So again, you could easily have two people here comfortably have their own space. So for those that wanting that inner city or that professional lifestyle, it also will cater to investors. Again, having the second bathroom is going to add more value to be able to get more rent. Um, and again, because of its location here, uh, we have had this property uh, managed uh, by ourselves from our um, uh, client uh, who is in WA. So our landlord has lived, uh, has had this property for quite a while. So again, it's gonna cater to a whole range of, uh, of, of buyers. Um, this one is due to go to auction. So this one is booked in to go to auction at the end of July. Um, it's going to hit the market probably next week now. Um, but again, look out for it. Um, to hit our, all our socials first and foremost. Um, so what I'd love for you to do, of course, uh, is like the post. I'd love for you to share it to your family and friends. I want to create a little bit of buzz about this awesome, gorgeous unit. Um, alternative, if you know that someone that may be interested in whether they're buying a first home, a downsizing home, an investment, or just another city pad, please tag them into this post. I want them to see this video before it actually goes to market. So again, if you've got any questions about the property, uh, you may know uh, someone that's interested or you may know that someone that's thinking of selling their home, whether it's an apartment, a townhouse, a house from Melbourne all the way to out of Melbourne, feel free to give me a call as always on 0402 I hope you enjoyed the tour guys and look forward to meeting you at one of the open homes. Thanks.